Hey guys, Denny here. Do you have a story that you want to tell? Something you can't explain? Send us an email. Encounters at kyxfiles.com And thanks for listening. Let's get back to the show. Welcome to the Kentucky X-Files, Season 2, with your hosts, Dennis Mays, Tyler Stewart, and Josh Gibbs. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts, so you never miss an episode. Now, on to our show. The low, uh, the very Manilow or very white version. I was trying to beat Danny to it. I would have done it at the same time and like perfectly harmonized. Oh, that fantastic. <laughs> How you guys been this week? Feeling good? Feeling good? Oh, I thought you were talking to. <laughs> I thought you were talking to the the oh, listeners. I, I mean. It goes out to them, too. Yeah, I, I definitely care how their week went, how their week's going to go. This is Monday morning, right? We want you to have, yeah. a, good, have a good Monday. So, you know, how, how you guys know doing, why. though? You, you not the audience. You, Tyler and Josh. How you guys? You go first, buddy. I'm doing pretty good. Like, yeah. Doing it's pretty good? It's, just, it's starting to get hot. It's starting to get hot, so yeah. I'm... Have you been working out? No. You look like you've been, like, kind of... Like, like I'm swole. Know, like you're getting a little swole. Like you're, you've been, you've been doing some reps. Nah. I got some duct tape in the corner. What? Because you're ripped. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Right. What? How about you, Josh? How you been? Man, I will tell you what, I'm, I've been tired a lot. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the <laughs> yeah. works, works got me. Yeah. We're mm-hmm. my first alarm goes off at two fifty a.m. Yeah. My second alarm about three ten. Would you say your alarm was degrading? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely yeah, degraded. Definitely degraded. It. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's rough, man. Like, it's great being off work so early in the afternoon, but like, yeah, you know, you're moving down the road before four o'clock, and it's it's rough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely feel that. Yeah, but the good thing is though is it's like starting to get hot, so being gone from work when it really gets stupid hot oh, is kind of nice. You that, know? Yeah. It was. It got it got toasty today. It did. Yeah. You know, I uh I felt uh I felt a droplet of sweat yeah on my brow. I dabbed it off with my handkerchief. Yeah. And you know, the store told me to put my shirt back on. <laughs> so, That's understandable. You know, I was like, Well, that's fine. Yeah, I've noticed that like yeah. me I'm just like you. I don't I, I don't tan. I burn. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like I see a lot of redness on us. Oh yeah. Yeah. For sure. I, I know uh <laughs> Like I've been delivered beer, so it's like I want to get everything into the cooler, yeah, as fast as I can, and then start working on it because it's like it takes a while to get it all in, 
Uh-huh. But then after you're in, you're in the cooler. Right. Yeah. So then you're like, okay, you know, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll sit here and throw, you know, throw cases up. You know, I'm I'm nice and cool. Yeah. It's amazing. So yeah, definitely, definitely a nice change though. It's freaking weather, man. Yeah. You know, the sun was beating down all week, and it was like uh, you'd get off work and you get out and you feel energized because, you know, the sun does that to you. It's it's great. Yeah. Yeah. And then like two hours later, you're ready for a nap. <laughs> yeah, I know shit. Or you take a shower and you're ready for a nap. Or you eat something and you're ready for a nap. Everything makes, yeah, every, it, it's like the whole thing just makes you want to sleep. Yeah, as soon as you hit the air conditioning, it's yeah. over. I will, okay, I will say this. I feel like my, my, my seasons are fall and winter. I love the cold. Yeah, it sucks because sometimes my joints... They lock up. They it sucks working out yeah, in it. Yeah. But I feel like I can do more because my body is not like about to overheat. But I, I feel that. like I do. I'm I get a lot more done in the summertime too because I'm so hot. I want to get it done so I can get. <laughs> you rush it. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, oh god, let's get this done. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. So I was down in Shelbyville, Kentucky, visiting and, and seeing this this town for the first time and working in it. And I found a little section where it was a reward poster up um, for information leading to a conviction of a man who was murdered. Uh, there was a guy there who said that that was his friend and that, you know, they're, they would like some kind of closure, you know. And I thought, well, hey, you know, our share's not that big, but every little bit helps, right? So... I'm going to tell you all out there as much as I got here about this. The man's name was John Kerry Monroe. And on December 23rd, 2018, John was murdered in Shelbyville. It was right at, right around 7.30 p.m. There was a lot, knock on the door. When he opened the door, he was shot multiple times. Family and friends are seeking much needed justice and closure. Uh, KSP is continuing the, to investigate the case. Crime Stoppers offered a reward up to about a thousand bucks for information that leads to a felony arrest. They don't want your name, uh, just your information. You can contact them uh, anonymously at 502-633-4500. And there's also been an anonymous donation of $6,000 for a reward that also would lead to anything that could help get a felony conviction. Um, the KSP is not affiliated with that reward. Um, you can also contact KSP anonymously at 1-800-222-5555 with any information. And if by some miracle chance out there, you heard something or, or noticed anything, you know, maybe it doesn't seem connected. You know, if you're in the area, it could be reach out. Let's help this family, you know, at least get closure for somebody they loved that they lost. So we definitely appreciate that. And we've, we've got a pretty interesting show coming up judging by these emails, fellas. Can we put the, uh, the links to all that information and in the description on the episode so that absolutely you don't have to worry about trying to write all that down while you're listening to yeah, us. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'll make sure I'll make sure it's all in there. So yeah, you guys, uh, how you guys feeling about a couple of emails? We got a couple this week. I love emails. So I don't dude, want them. I got two here. I got. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Here's what I'm gonna say. I got one about. It says the, in the title of the email it says something about dog man, and the other one says Bigfoot encounter in Kenton County. Can we do the dog man one first? Because I feel like the Kenton County one's gonna hit real close to home. Yeah, I feel like we haven't talked about dog man in a while. Yeah. Wanna, okay, let's do dog man first. I want to dive into the dog man. It uh, looks like it's not a very long email, but let's Crap. See, what, see what it has to say. It's from Rachel, who's apparently a listener of the show. We appreciate oh. you, Rachel. Thanks, Rachel. <clears throat> uh, Denny, you ruined the dog man encounters for me. Well, shit. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to keep going. I mean, <laughs> it might be bad. I don't know. I was so sucked into that show that I never realized that it definitely had a pattern that didn't add up. Thanks a lot. 
<laughs> She's got an LOL after that. So okay, I, so I feel like we're, okay. I, I feel okay, like we're, we're in the clear here. Yeah. Uh, in all honesty, though, I'd rather be the tr- told the truth, even if it pissed me off, rather than be fed a damn lie. Ah, uh, here, 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 here. That, that, that I, I'm going to fall right back to Landis. Oh. And the whole 911 call, that was my favorite thing. And I thought, man, this is the most real thing I've ever heard in my life. And he's like, it didn't happen. And it ruined it for me. But I'm glad it did. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I feel like I said the same exact thing. That re- yeah. like, You could hear my reaction how much. I was like, no Are way. Are you sure? So you, you guys didn't get to hear <laughs> my reaction. me? He's like, <laughs> yeah, I've been a dispatcher for years. What was, what was your reaction? Oh, it was, I'm driving down the road on the way to work. And I'm listening, and as soon as he said that, I went, "Son of a bitch!" <laughs> he's he's got to be right. And I started thinking about like all the 911 shows, and then I think about the Hollywood production 911, and he, I'm like, "Damn it!" Yeah, he just ruined my favorite thing. Um, oh well, it was worth it. To add to that, though, um, not to not to put you on hold here, Rachel. Or I'll get to it in a second, but to add to that call. I actually found another one with the same guy and it plays out almost exactly the same from, you know, the, what are you reporting? Yeah. And then he talks about his dog being thrown over a fence. Really? Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I just saw my dog get thrown over a fence and all this. And it's literally the same. It's the same guy. Yeah. Like same voice, everything. And I'm like, okay, so. Well, in the, the second one, the, the first one we heard, which is obviously the second in the series, he talks about something killing his dog a week ago. Yeah. So it must have been like he was putting, there's probably three or four of these. We just haven't been able to hear them yet. It know? would be interesting to hear all of them. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But I have to, I have to agree with Rachel 100% that <laughs> I would much rather, you know, know the truth yeah. and be mm-hmm. upset about it than think I know the truth yeah. and look like a fool every time I talk about it. You know? Uh, true. I'll tell you what, Rachel, um, if you're super into the dog man, uh, stuff and anybody out there, if you really are, you really need to go look at Scott Carpenter's YouTube page. He's got a piece of footage. That's, I mean, unless somebody wants to prove me wrong, I feel like he's got the only piece of footage that maybe could be interpreted as a dog man. And it's it's interesting because of the size and where it's at, and that the fact that he doesn't even notice it's there. And the the other thing is that that the footage is really old, and yeah. nobody noticed it for years until uh, I guess a a fan had saw it. Mm-hmm. So this is we're talking like an old piece of footage that like came and went. It's probably low resolution. Low like, resolution, yeah. kind of shitty, you know, but he was, he, everybody starts somewhere. Oh, yeah. And somebody, like, slowed down this part and was like, dude, there's something right by you. And when you watch it, there really is something right by him. And it's like, it actually, like, backs off and hides as he just, he's sitting there just talking away, you know, about Sasquatches and stuff and, and you know he he takes a much more spiritual approach to the whole subject. Yeah. But then later he actually is like, oh my god, you know, like what the hell, you know? Yeah, I'm like the same dude. Yeah. I'd it's... be scared. Like if we ever start going, like going once we go on location, yeah. and then years later somebody's like, hey, there's something like walking behind Tyler, and we never notice it for years. I'd be. <laughs> Dude, I'd be scared. I'd shit myself then when they find right, it. Right, yeah. I'm like, oh my God, it was that close to me. Yeah. And Scott Carpenter, he's one of the... If you go, if you go back on our show, uh, there's a point where I convinced my wife, uh, she's a professional p- photographer, mm-hmm. I, I convinced her to look at a Scott Carpenter uh, piece of footage and, and tell me how this could be done. You know, if it's fake in any way, like how would you fake it? And... She was pretty much at a loss. She's like, "This is this is a you know a reaction to, this is how light hits something. You know, it, it hits something and it, it you know whatever. You can check that out. It's it's like a uh, portals or something. I can't remember the title of the video because I'm fucking terrible at this. Yeah. But it's it's there somewhere. But Rachel, I, I totally uh, 
I really Sorry. appreciate you putting me on the spot here I, uh, about this. I don't think, <laughs> like, yeah, she's not just putting you on the spot. She's putting all of us. Because I feel like we we said that at the beginning of this, uh, like, this season. The gloves are off. The gloves are off. <laughs> like, yeah. dude, yeah. that guy, like, he just. No, yeah, Tyler, oh, yeah. you're so right. That's scary. That's so scary. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, dude, come on. But at the same time, it's like. Has he ever came out and said everything on my channel is one hundred percent true and real? I don't think he has. No. So in a way, you could, you could take that as a the channel is for entertainment and maybe doesn't you know maybe he shouldn't be dragged under the. I mean, bus maybe it's like know. podcast Fenguli, you know? Yeah. You know, like the the whole like it's a character like yeah. Elvira or Spengoli or, or any of these you know characters. Right. Maybe it's a character that he's doing for the entertainment factor. Yeah, yeah. You know? I, I wonder, you know, about all this stuff because yeah. you take you take a guy, a public figure of moderate success, and you throw him in the middle of, of like this this scenario. You know, where they're the center, they're the center of all these encounters and all these things, and they blow up, they get huge. And then at some point, I have to wonder because, you know, I'll be quite honest out there, like in regards to the old monster tracker, which seems to come up here and there. Mm -hmm. After eliminating a lot of what I consider just horseshit, you know, sightings, there isn't as many as I was thinking there would be. You know, most of the sightings that I think are, I won't say 100% believable, but more believable than others, there's, it's a handful. But, you know, at the same time, is if this thing is, you know, if, if the Sasquatch is out there and it's that stealthy, why is there like tens of thousands of sightings? I mean, this thing is like, it outclasses people 10 to 1 it can blend in it knows how to move you know i've seen some stuff in in robert you know up at swan lake his his videos i saw the one video where the the face literally was reacting with the tree line and it was literally moving in a not you know it wasn't moving like a piece of you know like a tree it was something in the tree moving so that it didn't get noticed and zooming all the way in and like checking it out, that actually gave me cold chills because it was like, dude, what, what really? This face is actually moving, but it's like when you seen how it moved, it was like, oh shit, maybe these things are really, really good at what they do. Was so, that the video that we, uh, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we did, uh, you did the red spectrum and we watched it on film, yeah. On one of the episodes, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. As far as the red spectrum goes, you it know. It was really nice. The red spectrum eliminates, <laughs> I would give it a solid 80 to 85% of pareidolia. It's going to get rid of shit that might yeah. look like a face. But if there's an actual face there, it's just going to paint it red. It also turns dog band back into a kangaroo. It turns you back into a kangaroo, which. Oh, God, don't say that. Yeah, we don't want the dark waters people. Honestly, no, again. no, no, no. Like, or that one guy, <laughs> Errant Kangaroos. Come on, yeah. God, I really? I don't know what got into me with that. <laughs> <laughs> I can believe that there's a nine foot dog person yeah. out there, but kangaroos, right. please. But hey, Rachel, you know, in all honesty, if you enjoy listening to it, listen to it. it doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean. If it's fun, it's fun. Get your enjoyment, you know? I mean, but, for all I know, Vic could be over there just making an entertaining channel. And I, I listened to Vic for a long time. Mm -hmm. the, the part where I transitioned over was when I started doing this and started trying to weed through these sightings and figure right. out, hey, what do we actually have to work with here to discover this shit, you know? Right. See, I like, it, it, like what you said to Rachel about if you enjoy it, just do it. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm a big time skeptic and there's a certain YouTube channel that I watch. I don't know if I should name them out or if I can kind of hint Go at for it, it, man. Right. Whatever. I watch yeah. slapped ham. I don't know if you guys watch him or not. I he's uh, I believe he's British. Yeah. 
but he's a compilation channel that does weird videos, spooky videos, you know, like ghost videos, okay. alien stuff. Yeah. 99% of everything on there is faked in some way or another. Yeah. He doesn't allude to any of them being faked. He only just does the tell us what you think in the comments, you know? Yeah. So it's like entertainment. It's entertainment. Yeah. And I love every bit of it, even though 90% of it is absolute sure. crap. Yeah. And it's obvious crap. Like, you can right. see the string when they're pulling the chairs across the room. Crap, you know? Yeah, but it, yeah. I love it's it kinda, nonetheless. It's kind of like the whole creepy pasta. Yeah. yeah. Like, because yep. I don't know yep. if creepy pasta ever came out and said that it's all. All this stuff is fake because a lot of people, because yeah. a lot of people take, <laughs> right, like take it to heart because they're like, oh, this stuff is real. Yeah, there was a couple of girls who got in trouble for like trying to sacrifice somebody to Slender Man, didn't they? Yeah, taking it as as you know biblical yeah, yeah. verbatim truth. But I was wanting to say is like, yeah, watch it if you enjoy it, but if it's actually upsetting you that much because you believe in this, right, this certain thing, I we understand, but. Yeah, it's frustrating with the, like channels like that that will say like they don't kind of specify if they are or are like they're not yeah. uh, like those types of things because I guess it's more of the mystery they want you to, like make your decision for yourself and in a in a way we're doing the same thing we let people say what they want we don't know for a hundred percent fact that. Yeah. Anybody that's writes in or uh, a, a caller uh, is telling us the truth. We but we kind of just sit there and listen to him, and we kind of like, and especially Denny, he always uh, analyzes people's like the way how they're talking and how they yeah. they how they react to the conversation if they're getting emotional in any way. I like to think of our guests as telling us the truth as they know it. Yeah, okay, yeah, you know I believe I mean? yeah. that. Yeah. There's, there's a, like, the... I don't really believe in a lot of the stuff that's out there, you know? But I believe that the people that tell us their stories that are opening up and really telling us, I yeah. believe that they saw something. Oh, yeah. But I don't know what it is. Right. Yeah, I get, I get where you're coming from on that. Like, they saw something. Like, because you can't... Having that kind of a... Uh, emotional and like response you saw something <laughs> like we are monitoring the activity of a cow squatch yeah. out there so it's the cow man hearing that the cow man is coming to tell me how real he is oh my god i forgot that came full circle yeah didn't it oh it no did. it did the cow man yeah it's time to revive the cow man guys cow man that's a that's definitely a favorite from the people that I know that listen to the show. Oh yeah, they love teasing me about Cowman. Dude, that was a that was a great story. Yeah, but yeah Rachel, I think if you enjoy it, listen to it. You know, there's there's no harm in it. I just uh, for for those of you that don't know what Rachel's talking about, several episodes ago, I I dissected the Dogman encounters and uh, I tried to match up the many many stories with the provided evidence on the internet that it's being thrown around as uh, as proof and the problem i have is that none of the photographs or video ever matches the alleged behavior of the dog man the dog man in the stories is always big and ravenous and he's superior to you in every way and he's a skilled hunter and he's terrifying and he's coming to get you but as soon as the camera comes out he turns into a bush yeah and he hides because cameras are his weakness. What do you uh, What do you want me to do with that? You know, I don't. I don't know. But yeah, maybe. Maybe uh, I don't know. I think I, I really feel like in that regard, it's like Scott Carpenter, man. Whatever he's got is like that's that to me could that has to be what they're looking at, what they're thinking, they're seeing. Yeah. But even the one in his video doesn't act like anything like the the description. It literally yeah. looks like it didn't want to be messed with, and it's mm -hmm. like, <laughs> like I think the Dogman stories are mostly like the werewolf stories gone awry. Yeah, you know, like the Beast of Bray Road right. or the Beast of Land Between the Lakes. I, I kind of feel like the Beast of Land Between the Lakes is just kind of a copy and paste of the Beast of Bray Road. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. It's now a, there are stories. Story. I've I've listened to interviews with farmers that like bought land up there, <laughs> and. 
they did not have this a cow, cow man. Is cracking me up so much. <laughs> I know that that's a calf. It's a uh, yeah. He's not very old. Go find mama. He's very angry. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, the there's interviews of farmers up there that have, like, purchased land recently in the past two decades. Yeah. And we're experiencing issues with livestock going missing and would set up bait and things would go missing, yeah. you know. So, like, I believe that these things are happening. I right. just don't know what it is. I think uh, Linda Godfrey, who's apparently, I mean, she is literally the godmother of the whole investigative side of the dog man. I mean, she, she went out there. She went over to Bray Road and she went and interviewed and, and they, you know, they even set up traps and set up bait and, you know, something out there was like making off with entire deer carcasses. Right. And that's what was going on in Bray Road with the farmers. He was setting out bait like that. Yeah. You know, he'd no. go looking for roadkill and put it yeah. out at the corner of his farm uh, yeah. and it would we go away. We must have seen the same thing then. Yeah. Because I, I recognize that. It, it's funny because it's like, okay, I mean... What the hell is going to grab a deer carcass and run off with it? I mean, right. most of the shit that I know is just going to sit right there. And I actually read an article today that might somewhat explain this. Okay. To a degree. I mean, obviously not verbatim exactly the same situation. Yeah. But there was a theory about what happened to Amelia Earhart, right? Yeah. Are you guys familiar with what coconut crabs are? Yes. Are you, Tyler? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what a crab is. Okay, so a coconut crab is the Godzilla of crabs. They're oh, massive. They're massive. Yeah. They're the ones that, like, you see pictures of them on the sides of garbage cans, and they take up the whole garbage can. Yeah. They, cool. Yeah, they're huge. The Half the size of this table. Crab is delicious. Right. I don't know how delicious these are, but they're huge. They're. So good. somebody had theorized... That maybe it wasn't one thing that caused Amelia to disappear, but maybe multiple things. So what they did was, is the speculated area in which they think that the plane crashed and she may have washed up on the beach. Yeah. They put a hog carcass on the beach and everybody hid back. And within an hour, all these coconut crabs came out of their homes and completely just dissolved this hog. They're strong enough to break hog bones. Like wow, they no cracked shit. the bones, they peeled it, ate the entire thing. You know, a dozen or more of these things just swarmed on this hog, and the hog was gone in hours. Yeah. Okay, that sounds terrifying. Right. That's, yeah. If you're a person. Right. So if you take that same scenario and you put it with some of these where livestock is missing and things like that, I'm not saying all, but some. Yeah. What if it's more than one something that's doing it? Yeah. So maybe it's not a werewolf or a dog man or a, a beast of any sort. What if it's several somethings that are nocturnal that come out and yeah. work as a team and make things go away? Are you still saying it's a cryptid or is it... Well, I mean, it could, be, that it could it, be something of, of known, you yeah. know? Because, I mean, yeah. isn't the Beast of Bray Road's what, Michigan? Am I yeah. saying that right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think it's Michigan. Yeah, so it's don't Michigan, they have like wolverines or badgers up there? Pretty sure. I don't know. I mean, these are ferocious animals that, yeah. you know, they're they're omnivores, I believe. Yeah. And if there's multiples of them, yeah, they could... You'd imagine that they would just devour it right there. Right. That's the only part of the whole puzzle that was weird to me was that the carcass is just gone. You know, like it's... they don't They don't even find anything. It's just gone. I mean, I get what you're saying. I mean, I've yeah. seen I've seen coyotes running through here with cats and dogs in their mouths. Yeah. They don't eat where they kill. They take it with them. Right. You know, they'll snatch it up and go. So there's a possibility that maybe, maybe that dragged happened. it off. Look at the wild dogs that went after that kid in southern Kentucky. Yeah. Drug him up on the hillside. Yeah. You know, these things do happen in nature. Yeah, so, sure. Yeah. I don't know. I mean... Whatever's going on, it's definitely weird. You yeah. would think too that they would catch it. They would, you know, like because I mean I've seen I've seen plenty of trail cam video and and pictures of coyotes and you know mm-hmm. even a <laughs> I seen just recently I saw a black panther was was a, a picture was snapped to one of those uh, trail cam. You know, and according to everybody, uh, that's not real. You know, they right. they don't exist. I remember my grandma told me when she was young she saw one. You know, it, she was. 
she was adamant that yeah she saw it it terrified her right yeah so i don't know i mean who knows what the hell's going on up there you know dog man story is just interesting as shit but oh great stories great stories but i just you know i just don't know i mean that's i feel like we we touch base on it that what if some of these dogman sightings are Bigfoot? Yeah, like if it was a different species. Or, yeah, yeah. different, yeah. It's just like, and plus, like, just like how humans are, we have different facial features. Yeah. If they're a primate that's kind of in a similar fashion that we are, we would have different facial features right. going through different different type different individual so like sometimes it could have looked like it had a snout but it didn't I mean, truthfully the only problem i have reflecting on that yeah. now is that if the dinopithecus which is the the big you know baboon type mm-hmm. you know uh, you know more doggish looking of the of the apes okay so if you look at Modern baboons, they don't shy away, intimidated. Oh no, oh, no. they are like I thought they were absolutely very absolutely vicious as yeah. hell, you know. And they but the thing insanely of it is, aggressive. Yeah. But I thought they've run in packs though. I've, I thought that's how, like in a wild. I yeah, thought baboons are a pack animal. Yeah, they are a pack animal. All Bro, I'm they're, saying they're, is I don't know if it's so much a pack as it is like the, they have a family, like a gr- just a group, not Pod. like a giant. Yeah, <laughs> pod. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean it's like. You know, even taking that little bit of behavioral pattern there and just applying it, it's like, okay, so you pull a camera out, you know, go pull your cell phone out and see if it saves you from a baboon. Damn right. See if he smacks it out of your hand and then, like, eats your face. You know what I mean? Like, he's not, they're not scared of this shit. It's not going to go hide behind some bushes. But the it's going to attack you. And, and that's the difference between the Bigfoot tails is, is that it's, it's not... Nobody's saying that they're... Well, I mean, they do. It's not nearly as bad. You know, yeah. the, the pareidolia does exist, but, like, most of the stories that I hear is people are just frozen in fear of the Bigfoot. Yeah. And they don't even think to pull out their phones or cameras to take a picture. Yeah. Whereas almost all the dogman stuff is, look, I took a picture of this tree line. Do you see him? Yeah, he's right there. I see him. Yeah, why is it that they can suddenly do that? Right. Mm-hmm. So to me, that that would be like, okay, so you're basically telling me that there's a lack of infrasound happening with this animal. That's all I'm getting from it. And if there's a lack of infrasound coming from this animal, then that means that all of these stories of the dread feeling, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I'm just saying there's so many contradictions and nobody's looking at the like fine details of what's being said. You know, like, he just called it out. When people spot a Bigfoot, a lot of these people, it takes every nerve they have to try to get a picture. You know? Yeah. But when the dog man, all of a sudden, it's like, oh, yeah, you just pull yourself in and snap a picture. He's right I there can't... in the tree line. I, uh... <laughs> it I, I, doesn't hold up. You know? I recently Don't hold just water. Heard, uh, heard a, a story. This was actually off of another... Sorry, something was touching my foot. <laughs> God dang it. The bugs are back. Yeah. yeah. But uh They're great for ambience. Terrible for yeah, they're, interactions. They're just trying they're to be just, part uh, of the show. We're trying to figure out a color of light to use in the garage too that doesn't draw them all in. Yeah. And it seems that the blue hue keeps the skeeters and the uh, moths away, but it seems to really attract the June bugs. And that gigantic moth right there. Fucking Mothra. Yeah. Is it Mothman on your tee there? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So, going back to my... <laughs> this story was told by, a, a, like, a, another YouTuber. I think his name is Mr. Bean, Bean or something. He does a lot of, like, these types of stories. He said that he... He doesn't do a lot of those t- like these types of stories, but there was one that kind of stand out that he he wanted to talk about the whole big uh, Bigfoot thing. He didn't he didn't seem like he was he believed in the whole Bigfoot, but he knows that a lot of people have sightings and 
he found a couple that were pretty big that like were scary because no. that's kind of his thing like a lot of scary like stories right. uh but he found two of them but one stuck out a lot was he said there was this guy i can't remember what it was it was back in the 1900s <laughs> <laughs> or the late 1900s right um uh, he uh this guy was in a deer stand and he was uh he sees his doe and it just stops right below like like right right below him and it lo- it was panting like it was it was hauling some ass like yeah. to get away from something and then eventually he said that he saw uh, like like straight out it, there was this thi- uh thing staring at him at first he thought it was somebody uh in a like a suit thinking that it's like uh, like wanting to get out of here yeah making a joke mm-hmm. saying i had uh, uh, like saying like he uh, he can't hunt there and then finally he screams at it it's like hey he's like this is stupid like it's like i can i can hunt here i have my my papers yeah he's like just just get out of here like this is not funny and he he said the thing just just started staring at him uh, like and he said that it was weird because like if it was somebody in a gorilla suit by now they would have said like if that was their case he they would have said something like yeah get out of here so to get a better look he raised up his gun and looked through the scope and he said he's like he like was dumbfounded because it looked like a man but it like had it was very hairy and like he thought it was like it looked like a man but it was so hairy but it he thought it might have been a feral human yeah because of how human it looked like but it didn't um and then as he, he he's still looking at it like kind of like and then he's like i guess he said he started to feel dread like the dread yeah and then the next you know, he said the things like, Bruh, like roared at him. He said like the guy said that it sounded like a, um, like a lion, like it was so full. Yeah. But then as he was doing that, he heard this high pitch wh- like whistle go over there, and you just he said the thing snapped and looked at uh, out that, and he whistles back, and they just. Do that back and forth, and he's like, "Are they com? Are they communicating?" Yeah. And then at that moment, he hears another whistle on the other side, and another one comes out right next to the other one. So now he's already scared shitless. Oh yeah. But apparently, uh, uh, like I vaguely hear, heard this part, but I, I I remember him saying that he got uh, like got out of the deer stand. He was running towards his truck, but. He could see the other one in a tree following him. Wow. Like he like but he's like, This thing is so fast, it could it could get me. Yeah. It's choosing to not get me. Yeah. So he's like, it's keeping pace, but then the next thing you know, as he gets to his truck, he finally sees the other one on the opposite side. And the way that they funneled, it was literally towards uh, towards his truck. They were Shooing him out of there. They were shooing him to his truck. So, and, like, that was another thing he says, that that shows a intelligent response. And he's like, before, I didn't feel any dread or any feeling, ill feelings towards this thing until I raised my gun. Yeah. There, he, was, no, like, there was no threat then. Yeah, I feel that no he really believes that the threat happened because I showed uh, i showed basically showed in anger and yeah. that's to them pointing just like anybody like someone to get pointing a gun at you you're going to get defensive well there's you know there's a lot of people out there that are that have said that like yeah, they're right there and you won't know they're there it's there and it's watching and it's like dude you know they've seen what a gun can do by now you know, they know what it means. They know it's a weapon. You know, I mean, we've, we've got videos of these things able to hurl a goddamn boulder like a bullet. You know what I mean? Like a cannon. 
So it's like they're not helpless. You know? Right. Like, may, they might be primitive compared to, like, technology-wise, but, I mean, I still feel like, hey, you know, there's nothing out there that could that could say that an alternate evolution is impossible for a human-type species. You know? We don't have that yet. We're finding out new things literally every day about humans. Yeah, hey, you guys know that... Uh, they recently discovered that the, you know, the uh, Homo florensis, the Hobbit people, they actually lived on Earth a lot more recently than we thought. Really? They were they were here very, very recently. They, they thought, they placed them like 20,000, 30,000 years, uh, what, later yeah. than they originally thought. Really? Like they were actually, they were living when modern man was so coming into being. Do you know the implications of that? I mean, it means there's that still. There's, it means that there's a possibility that Meganthropus could have lived a lot closer to us. Possible, yeah. And we remember, I don't know for the viewers that may not remember, Meganthropus is the blueprint for a yeah. Bigfoot. The, the the true yeah I, I consider that the true blueprint yeah yeah much I, I prefer that over Gigantopithecus I do because too Gigantopithecus was more was related th- to the orangutan and yeah. and yeah. was there the pictures depicted of it standing upright are just to show its size yeah it was more like an orangutan which would have mean that it would have been yeah. uh, the Still hips would have not allowed it hell, to stand up like that I mean what very long what megafauna animal wasn't impressive you right. know, I mean, right. You know, I, or the microfauna, um, like the tiny elephants. Yeah, you know that's cool as hell. It is really. But neat. the little people, like, what were what you call? What are they uh, called again? Homo florensis. So that they're still part of like, there's the ape stuff. Like, no, they're, oh. they're actually a separate breed of human. They separate were, be- breed they were, of human. Well, but I mean, they would they have for lack of a better word. That's why it would starts they with have homo. Pri- yeah. Would they they wouldn't have no type of primate DNA in them? They we have they'd have a common ancestor with with primates. Like that's us. what that's kind of like where I was coming from. Like, like so they it's, you know there's you look, a word for it. It's non something primate. Non right? uh, non sapien sapien. Yeah yeah. Oh it's okay, like, that's a little confusing. Sorry. They're, they're like um, you know how you you go back you look at the family tree like there's like some mystery you know ancestor and then there's all these branches. Okay. And each branch represents a different type of human that kind of passed through the, you know, or or relative, you know. They just thought that they were long gone way before they actually were. Yeah. So, hold on a second. Well, like, what this, what was the, do you know what new information they got to show? Um, Apparently, they found remains that were, you know. They dated it. Yeah. It's like, like it's like uh, what was it like two years ago that you know they found Neanderthal uh, remains and and things that showed that they were still here when Homo sapien was here. Oh yeah, we we walked alongside of each other. Yeah, we were. And there's even thought that we interbred, and then with yeah. the whole the DNA testing things that are going around, where everybody's yeah. learning their ancestral backgrounds through DNA, they've discovered that there is an entire like population of humans yeah that share the common ancestor of yeah. neanderthal it's it's primarily uh in germany isn't it at far it's farther east it's uh asian uh, really like some of the asian places there's a it's not much like the caucus mountains are much further Asian. but it's like yeah like further it's like it's not a lot and you know for anybody out there like this is not you know whatever you know you can look this stuff up uh smithsonian has a lot of great great information on it um national geographic i think has also covered it there's a lot of good information you can get all the actual like details of this and it's fascinating i highly recommend but um yeah there was a like a large group in in asia somewhere where they they had just like i mean we're talking it's a minute amount but it's there and they're like okay so we know that this dna did make it it made it to modern time, yeah. Right. But speaking of all this stuff, I got another email here. I was just about to say that we um, we, we, <laughs> if we you guys went want, on want this one. Um, this is from Ken, listener of the show. Thank you, Ken. Yeah, thanks, um, Ken. Thanks, says, Ken. Hey, here a few days ago, saw something big run across the street from a well-known bridge in a train crossing. 
uh, Kenton County, close to the Licking River. Went up the hill into the trees, away from the river. Couldn't see it. Sorry, it's a punctuation, you know what I mean? It's kind of run on. I, it looks like this was done from a cell phone. Um, I'm trying to break it up, so sorry. Couldn't see it very well, but it was damn big. Uh, this isn't the first time I've heard of this stuff in this area. Don't know if this helps you all with your monster tracker, but I figured I'd just tell it. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. I thought it was a critter, but it's just too damn big. I remember you talking about the eye shine, and I could see that. It was green, maybe bluish. Don't know if that helps, but I sure hope I never see the son of a bitch again. Good luck on the search. Love the show. I listen every Monday for new episodes. Really enjoy it. But again, I never want to see this again. I can. I, I appreciate it. There's nothing I can do about that, though. I, I mean, I'm just saying, like, I, yeah, I can't whole... stop you from seeing it, man. I mean, we're trying but... to get a pattern. We're not exactly, like, going out to you know get rid of them. Let's just put it this <laughs> way. Know, like, we hope that you don't see it again. I hope you don't, man. If right. you, you like, know. I really that... hope you don't see it again. You know? Cause yeah, I think that's, you, I think yeah. If I like, I have a guess where I think this is. Yeah, but I'm not exactly sure exactly where it is. Yeah, if I did it like, I mean, <laughs> okay, holy <Yeah>. shit. <laughs> so that is so God. That's say, really okay. close. That's closer than I was time. thinking. That's closer than I'm comfortable <laughs> okay, with. Um, I can tell you that. <laughs> okay, time out. Yeah, yeah, time. Well, no, I meant like just, just like, but okay, we just had. Alleged sighting at yeah, over, by over me by you. And okay. if he would, if he would, if this would like, it's kind of in the direct area. Like the way he said yeah, that he went, it should be west by southwest. Which would be the pattern. Yeah, he would have had to go through that. So, but um, then he would have had to cross. Map real quick. He would have had to cross a decent. That's, that's west by southwest. He would have had a really? It oh, is. Shit. It's absolutely west by southwest because that it. is east and north. Mm-hmm. Oh, so it's the, the direct path would be. I hate being right. Yeah. He would have had to pass a big, um, a de- a main road. Easy to do at night. True. Yeah. Either, like you know. especially around that area because there's not that. Yeah. There's I'm decent mo- uh, like there's Dude, a decent you're... stuff around that area, but not too much. Nothing with a lot of lights. Yeah, it's, dude, it's, okay, so there's the legend sighting, and there's the other legend sighting, so yeah. It's, Wh- which, which, which the, legend? The red here is the legend sighting from Bayou, and okay. then this is where, well, yeah. technically right here would be uh, right in this area, so it's it's more west, but it is definitely west by southwest. And that's, I mean, yeah, there's there's like four or five main roads right there so i imagine there's there's if i mean if it moved out in the open then somebody else has seen it i mean unless it swim the goddamn river you know what i mean like i i still have this theory i mean that that part of the river is not that deep oh it isn't no you could i mean there's parts of the licking river that i've personally walked down the center of the river a few miles I, I still, so that part's I, not crazy deep. It I, depends on what time of year. Like right yeah. now, it's yeah, it's swally hole. There's whirlpools and everything else in it. But you know, I still think that the I have a I have a little theory on that whole the water because everybody says like when they either oh get, shit dude get a decent uh like sighting if uh they always say they smell wet dog. Or garbage and stuff of that nature. Oh fuck! That I is. keep thinking that they they use that. I don't think they swim. Ooh, I think they actually. Chills. I think they lay in it and they use it to just take them. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? It's like they let the river river just take them where down towards whatever the current's going. I'm gonna show but you I, this real quick. I think Denny found something crazy. Okay. Sighting number one. Okay. Uh-huh. We 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 guessed. Yeah. That this would be the start of the time of year when they would move. Yeah. Just by the previous pattern. <coughs> okay. Sighting number two is here. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Right? That's what we're guessing. 
The yeah. dude, he was he was pretty good about not giving away execs. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, there's only so many. We we all know that there's only so many ways. Yeah. Across that river, and that involves everything he said. I know exactly where he's talking mm-hmm. about. If you continue on that path, you end up there. Which takes us right back full circle. That gives us, that's a link. That's, this has to be added to the tracker. That's, that's a pattern right there. That That's like almost dead on what I was expecting. Can you, uh, you just put a pin in the map that links a case that I would, I've been oh. dying for somebody to get on and talk to us about, um, but he's not willing to talk about it. Um, what they did do, though, is they gave me pictures of the footprints they took. Yeah. And the direct line from the first siding to your siding to this area is exactly south by southwest and chases waterways. All right. So this, so this if apparently everybody- happened... Uh, the the encounter happened on the tenth. All right. The previous one happened. Wasn't that early February? I guess. Oh. <laughs> uh, it was cold out, but it wasn't that cold out. Like middle of March. <laughs> was it middle of March? All right. So hmm. this happened on the tenth. This this encounter. Or sighting, I'll say. Did he tell us day or night? Um, like if it was morning hours or evening hours. Well, I know it had been dark for eye shine to be a factor. Yeah, I don't. I don't think so. I'd like to hear more, Ken. Yeah, same here. We'd like to get some more details from you if you're listening to this, man. Please write again. It's a uh, whatever. I mean, you may not think it, but you telling us this is. It's yes, it's absolutely yeah, it helping did. with the yeah, monster tracker big time. Yeah, it definitely did. If I go by this, then one to two months from now, we should have someone in Crittenden that might have a sighting. Yeah, if we're lucky. Which takes us back to the farmer that rode in. So yeah, yeah, okay. So we've got. See, that's the, that's the thing here is when I, when I go to the Crittenden and I start and I continue on this path, it's a lot of green. I mean, we're talking miles of back road in green. Yeah. I mean, all the way down to like Jonesville. Yeah, it'll take you all the way into Sparta and yeah. Gent, all the way to the steel plant down there. Yeah, I see. I see Sparta here. Uh, let's see here. Jonesville, is, I mean, it's got a name, but. What do we got here? It's, there's nothing. It's houses. Oh, yeah. It's farms. There's a big old lake in Owen County. Elmer Davis? Uh, maybe. it doesn't. It's not showing me a name of it. It's but probably Elmer Davis. There's a big old lake there. I would definitely keep an eye on that area. Yeah. And then uh, there's uh, the, big, the Big Bend and the Kentucky River uh, along uh, 355. The thing with Elmer Davis that might slow the sightings down is the um the the fact that the elk um hunt club and yeah. i have to say that slowly because of my southern draw and huge lips <laughs> it can come out really wrong um the elk hunt club i love how he's is a shotgun sporting clay facility okay so there's especially this time of year and in the next few months Lots and lots and lots of gunshot, gunfire. You know, the the batteries are loud and almost never ending. All right, so that might be a deterrent. But the path leads in almost a linear line all the way to Louisville. It goes, yeah, it goes right through, right through Louisville. I, the last time I I looked into that one, Louis, I don't know if this is Louis. It might be, but Louie would go around Louisville 
he he was very very careful about how he went around that whole area but if it continues on this path then we know where his winter home is it's a straight line to there that's the land between the lakes oh okay so by winter time by the time winter comes back again that would give us a direct I mean not a, not a direct I mean I'm sure there's a lot of navigation that happens but it passes through Hopkinsville where we have sightings it passes through Central City where we had sightings Beaver Dam we had sightings there will you humor me for a second absolutely will you zoom out on the map and go further northeast and tell me if the line doesn't go straight for, through East Fork um absolutely okay just Thank out of curiosity yeah 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 let's navigate let's go northeast uh yeah yeah that would put us right in the path we have also sightings oh, in east fork that have I happened will, i will bring this back up remember i told you about that bear sighting that i had yeah if yeah, you think about it it's what the time same. of year was it it was around around now summer around summertime because i knew it was i was out of school at that time and there are sightings that have been told to me of maybe six miles south of the siding can road in about on the river yeah so i mean well one thing we can we can say is this now this is a guess all right, so when I was looking at the sightings, I was picking up a sighting about once a year around 20 miles in a in a direction. I was I could have been I mean, this could be a return path or I I don't know. I thought they were going northeast. This is showing southwest. So somehow maybe got backwards or maybe they double back over their same trail that they wherever they go to whatever the hell it is they're doing but animals do that they'll walk the same path we've got east fork sightings there we've got uh actually we have uh yeah multiple sightings in east fork right. i mean on up northeast of that up into mount orb there's even been a couple of rumors of sightings there yep. coming um, right down through here right through tyler's backyard right through all of our backyard basically right and then right through into piner and then farther southwest yeah until land of the lakes that's and, where the trail uh, dies it's, it's literally where the trail well, ends and i'll go ahead and elaborate a little bit too is that the sightings in the piner area are on and around grassy creek yeah. and grassy creek ties into the licking river wow Ken, I mean, you really you you open you uh, open up a can here. of worms and yeah. it's actually a so little exciting. Either he's really good at patterns as well, oh my God. and <laughs> just stepped up ahead and was like, "I'm just going to go ahead and tell him that this happened here," and is just guessing to throw it in the dark there, or he really did see something Dude. and now it's all coming into line. Okay, I'm another thing. Remember the one that's actually on the report? I of, believe so. Yeah, it's a guy that he said that he lives by the Licking River. Yeah. His yeah. farm, his that, house. That was how long and ago? I can't remember. I can't, 2009, I think. Yeah, I think it's uh, like a long We I had to look it back up, but yeah. it. he said that it was going towards the Licking River. Like, it was following it. Did but yeah. I can't He never specified which direction, though. We also had an email that was wrote in yeah. last season of somebody that saw something on the Licking River. Yeah. And the guy never got back with us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's true. Or the girl. I'm not Wasn't sure. Wasn't that the one that said remember. that he yeah. thinks that he knows you? Yeah. 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 Never did. He never did contact me again, though. Yeah. Weird. You know, uh, I, I was just going to say that it, it's interesting to see, like, you know, I was going off of what I thought was more realistic, and I was, I was getting rid of a lot of, you know, malarkey, <laughs> you know? Right. And, I thought, well, maybe this is maybe this is a migration pattern, but 
The only thing that, that kind of doesn't make sense to me at this point in time, which I, I, I'm, really, I'm, I'm with you. I'm excited. This is, mm-hmm. It's neat to have something come up that, that actually links a few different things you know, from different happenings together. Um, the thing that keeps popping into my head is, is that the trail literally stops in... At, there's a concentration of sightings that happen in Land Between the Lakes. Yeah. But they always happen every so often. Like, it'll be a delay, like maybe a year or three or five, and multiple sightings around it will happen during that. Then the trail kicks off again. But it doesn't always travel this way. I, I had one that started northwest up into ohio and indiana yeah 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 i remember that but i never fall i never pursued it yeah because i thought we said it on the tracker that it was going in a weird direction now like it's it yeah. switched on us so we didn't think that it was so i'm curious as to like okay do you so, think land between the lakes might be a meeting area like that's what i wonder like why hang out there for a while what's the point what's you know i understand like maybe wintering there Maybe it's like I'm just saying, hey, it's a good place to hang out and Do you think uh it could be for animals always they migrate for mating purposes? I don't know. I mean But we've got I mean we've got stories where there's multiples together. Although it would explain the males being more aggressive if they're at at that area. If there's multiple males in an area and say one female <laughs> yeah, it it does explain the aggression. Like, hey, yeah. get the hell out of here, human! You know, we're we're busy trying to impress her. You know, like <laughs> I just don't, I just can't see a Sasquatch female being like taken without her choosing the dude. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, I feel like it's like it's up to her. I I don't know why. I just can't. I can't see it being a. Like, so, if you walked non-stop <clears throat> without stopping at all yeah from east fork lake to the land between the lakes right it would take you four days and 16 hours to walk it right that's if you were able to walk 24 hours a day seven days a week non-stop yeah. right yeah but well, other long? than this time of year though they hang out in a 20 mile patch for about a year right once it hits this time of year they're moving Right. That's the only part of the thing that breaks everything. And my thought is, is let's do the math right quick if we can. Yeah. Figure how long somebody could actually walk per day. You know? Yeah. Like, how far would they get? And we got to add time in for, like, you know, not being able to take main paths walking down the roads. You're going to be cutting through the woods, and you're going to be gaining time sometimes you're gonna be losing time sometimes yeah but i mean like realistically what do you think a human could walk i mean in a day depends on how many calories you're taking with you right you know but i mean just like before fatigue sets in you know like yeah i would say that eight eight hours would be a fair assessment of walking before you would have to at least take a rest i feel like it'd be a a while good solid guess i mean right yeah now, if you were to do eight-hour days and rest and walk, how many days would it take you then? Right. Okay. So I need to figure out the math on that one. Yeah. Because that might also, if it lines up, you know? Yeah, you could get it almost down to the day. Right. Wow. That, that could mean field trip. So... Every four days of GPS time, no, every one day of GPS time is three real life days. Okay. So we're looking at like two weeks if they walk straight through yeah. eight hours at a time. Okay. If they lollygag, dilly dally, three. Right. Figure in the extra days for trying to stay off the main drags and avoiding people so i also kind of wonder too about multiple multiple uh uh, i don't know what they like creatures i guess following the same path 
right. that could throw the that could throw the pattern. Yeah. Because then you got you might have a path pattern, but then you don't have a, a behavioral pattern, and you don't yeah. have a well, not behavioral. You don't have a time then because it's kind of like how your deer will follow yeah. the same path, and cows will follow the same path. That's how you get one ragged run of grass in your pasture, even yeah. though you've got fifteen cows. Like I'm not trying to sound greedy here, but one more siding would really nail this down for me personally. Like I would be like, okay, especially if it's where we think it's going to happen. I really, I'm feeling strong about it. I mean, dude, I didn't even, I didn't even realize, I didn't even realize that this was, you know what I mean? This, the direction. I didn't even realize Um, that. That's that's, incredible. That Campbell County sighting was on November the 6th, 08. Okay. That's the one that was on the Licking River? Yeah. Okay. So, 08. I wanted to ask you this, Denny. What time of year was it? Okay, I know you didn't see anything. Yeah. But that time that Max was scared. Uh, that was winter. That was winter? That was winter time, yeah. So, do you feel like... the only time I've ever... Do you... <laughs> yeah. like, I know that, like, that kind of piqued your... Because, come on. Yeah. I know everybody like doesn't know max or anything of that nature yeah but this dog was it was fearless he was fearless yeah he was bullet like he man. made he made sure that he he was the protector of the family yeah i was so like the one time i ever saw him actually the, scared the major events that happened in piner over by grassy creek yeah um, the majority happened in winter and yep. then they felt like they told me they thought that he hung around in winter and then started to move in yep. the early spring summertime so it could be opportunistic too right it could be like hey it's summer time to start moving it might not be down to the date but yeah. it could be like hey starting to get warm time to start moving time to start getting to wherever you know well my, it that's... might I mean, it's kind of like the same like that because that that sighting was in November, and yeah. you said your sighting was uh, in the winter time. So it's I don't kind know. of like my, my, I didn't see. Well, I know you didn't see anything. The, You're that was ca- weird. It was, it weird. was just we- weird. Yeah. So like something big. Like I'm just saying that that dog was big. Like something had to terrify him enough. Yeah, I'd never seen that before. Yeah, was, so it, that's kind of like <laughs> definitely scared me because I'm like, dude, if you're fucking freaking out. I need to shut this. <laughs> I'm gonna close the door. Yeah, you I mean, know, like get the hell make, in here. Go downstairs, make sure the garage is locked. You know, like <laughs> right, like what the hell? Yeah, it is weird. <clears throat> I, I think uh, one thing that gets me too is like there's there's frustrating that there's so many variables. You know, because if if they're traveling, uh, if there's a few of them together, well, mm-hmm. you gotta feed them. What time of year was my? Uh my experience in the front yard when me and Leroy got growled at. Was that like October, November, something like that? I don't know. I can't remember. Dude, I mean, for all intents and purposes, you are literally like in the path. Right. You are close enough to the path <laughs> that... I know. It's like... <laughs> you're. It, it, he's going to be in your living room. I'm not saying it's coming here. I'm just saying that it's, it's around. That's... You know what I mean? And I can't help but one. I mean, you got a, a baby cow over there screaming its head off. We got a sighting three days ago, not you know, not very far from here. I mean, there's just there's so many variables that are just playing in my mind here. Like, dude, the son of a bitch could be like over in that field. Yeah. And we can't see it. All I keep we pic- can't do shit. You know. No, all I keep picturing is the things like it sees Josh outside. It's like. And it goes to the cutout and just stands there. <laughs> it stands perfectly. Right. Yeah, it with stands the perfectly still. And then, like, <laughs> okay, he walked away. Okay, time okay, to move. He went back in. Whew. Maybe he didn't growl at you. Maybe he, like he was hiding and he farted. This was November. It was November like twelfth. November twelfth. Okay. When I had my uh, growling incident. So multiple, multiple weird things <clears throat> line up. I don't know. I, I tell you what I am going to do, though, is uh, I'm going to be scouring tomorrow for more information. And I hope Ken writes back. I would I, very I, much I like to hear. Yeah. Even if we don't broadcast everything he says. At least yeah. know what direction. I would like to know. Because he said it just crossed that, bri- uh, that bridge. 
Yeah. And but he didn't specify what what direction though. He said away from the river, going. Oh, okay. Going up the hill. I guess I I I missed that. I was I wasn't here. Well, but I was. I'm I am <laughs> making an assumption because he said Kenton County that he was on this side, but I mean, there's always oh, a chance. Okay, yeah, I get you. You know what I mean? I don't know. So I guess we'll have to hear more from him if he yeah. if he hopefully he listens to this and writes back. But yeah, well, Ken, appreciate it. That's uh that's that gonna a help a lot. Awesome email. Again, you folks, uh, you know, in the in the Southwest, there, keep your eyes peeled because it sure seems like uh, there's a decent little chance you might see something. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to promise you anything, but it. Sure seems like these guys are sure footed when they decide to go a direction, that's the direction they go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Yeah, you folks in Atwood and Piner and Crindon. Yeah, keep your eyes peeled. Yeah. And definitely you know what? I mean, seriously, report in, like send us messages, send us emails, your you know what I mean? Hell, if you wanna email me and I'll literally give you my cell phone number if you wanna like text me if you see something. I don't care whatsoever. <laughs> I, I'm curious. I'm really excited. I'm really inter- interested in this. I, I really feel like, man, that's he like, he like he brought a puzzle piece. Oh, big time puzzle like, piece! Oh my god! Like it, it was weird how much his puzzle piece connected so many dots yeah, out of nowhere. Yeah, I was sitting there thinking, and you, you know, you were you were making a point, and I'm like sitting here and I'm looking at the map, and I'm like, wait a minute, like holy shit, this is like I've seen this pattern before. This is a this is literally like really close to the 2008 movements, you know what I mean? Or uh, two, between 2008, 2009, and 2010, mm-hmm. these these movements are very similar. I will, I almost wonder if they're like, do they go nomadic when there's a Democrat in office? I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it is. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> But we're we're about an hour and ten minutes, so I I figured probably time to let these folks get on with their day. Yeah. Yep. So what? What is uh, we 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 keep forgetting? Like, share, subscribe, and give us a good rating. Yeah. Give us those those starsies and the thumbs. The thing isn't yeah. that a thumb? The, yeah, a thumbs. And on that YouTube page, you know, you yeah. can you can click that bell, and that bell will tell you every time there's a new episode. And that's exciting. Yeah. But we can tell you too. It's Monday. <laughs> it's always Monday. It's always Monday. Just check in. Yeah, just check in. Just yep. check in. I tell you what, you know what? You're at it. Throw yourself some likes. Yeah. Because you know what? I like you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll put a, a new new button where it's like a pat on the back. Because you're awesome. That was a cow. That's the cow. It's saying bye. Or. We're getting some weird noises out There's there. There's some weird yeah. shit going on outside. It sounded like a ninja, too, <laughs> at the time. <laughs> Cowman is out there battling the Dogman and possibly Sasquatch. Yep, I don't know. Yeah. All right, so. Angry cows. You guys out there, you take care of each other, all right? <laughs>